Hi folks, today we'll be doing an orientation on the Imagine 2600 RB. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna get started. First of all, for the making of this video, I'm taking off the propane cover, okay? Just so I can show you the inner workings of what's going on here. So, first off, I'm checking in the unit, making sure all the components are working. And so I'm in the shop right now making this video. So, you got a light for off and on for if you want to do any hitching at night. You got a um, power tongue jack. Now, I'm testing this out right now. There's a rubber grommet that goes over this, okay? So this is so you can manually uh, adjust the tongue jack if you lose power, okay? And you just put the three uh, quarters, three quarter inch drive that comes with the unit and you just twist, okay? Next, I'm gonna turn the propane on. Lefty, loosey, that opens the tanks, okay? Righty, tidy, closes the tanks, okay? Now, this is why I took the cover off. You see this, this right here? I'm pointed to the left tank. If I wanna to go to the right tank, I aim it this way. So if both tanks are open, it will automatically draw from one and then go to the other. If one is open and the other one's closed, it will draw till it's dead and then it will not, it can't draw from the other one because it's closed, okay? So just keep that in mind. This also, uh, normally uh, one slide, one uh, battery. This one we're putting two batteries on for you, for you folks and these are two deep cycle uh, batteries. Next, this is the three quarter drive I was telling you about. This is the outside shower hose. The outside shower hose plugs in right here. You got hot and cold water, okay? Right now I'm running city water in to check the systems, okay? Now, for city water, I have this aimed at city water. If I wanna fill the fresh tank uh, full of water, I just move this up to fresh tank fill, okay? This right here is the battery disconnect. Right now it's on. If I turn it off, I just flip up and out. Just like that, it turns it off. You wanna leave it on if you're plugged in because it'll charge your batteries. You also wanna leave it on if you're towing because it will also charge your batteries. If you are at a site and they offer cable or satellite, this is where you plug it in at. This is also just a power outlet uh, for out here. Now once you have everything plugged in, you can run it all down through here so you can close this bay door, okay? Awesome. And uh, next also you have four of these stabilizer jacks. These are not used to jack up the coach. It's only for stabilizing. They are not strong enough to jack up the coach. So please do not use these to jack it up. Just use it to stabilize, okay? Next we're coming around and see right here where it says gray tank. That means right under here will be a gray tank valve, okay? And that valve is right there. And once you have your hose, sewer hose hooked up right here, you can pull these valves and it'll start emptying out the coach. Notice right here it says black tank. So that means if you come down, boom, there's the black tank valve right there. And at night you have a light if you need one. <clears throat> right here is the black tank flush. Just plug in the hose right here. And with that hose, it will uh, create uh, like a sprinkler system inside the black tank that will clean off the solids off the sensors or toilet paper or uh, poop or anything like that. If you want to store your black tank hose, you just pop this off and then you can put your hose right in here in the bumper, okay? This is the ladder to the roof. It's got a 300 pound capacity, so keep that in mind. Right here is your 30 amp shore power plug-in and it comes with this cord. It is a 30 foot cord. Right here is your backup camera. It's not, well, it's backup camera ready. So Furion uh, will sell you the camera and the screen for your truck that are automatically paired. So basically, if you're somewhat handy, there's two screws for this cover. You can pop it right off and uh, the Furion camera will plug right into a plug right behind there and you're ready to go. Otherwise, we can install it for you if you'd like. Also, we have uh, the spare tire right here. This right here is your water heater, okay? Now on the Imagines, you have a gas and electric water heater. 
So right here is if you want to winterize it and you want to empty out some water. And then right here is the purge valve to uh, get the air out of the lines. And that's only for, for when you're winterizing the unit. <clears throat> and also, we'll flip this up right here. This is for another outside shower or uh, water port for your outside shower hose. It's pretty nice. It's, you got two of them. So you got one on each side of the unit. Right here is the rear maintenance uh, entrance for your fridge. You also got uh, two speakers that light up. There's one, there's the other. You got a humongous awning that covers the whole side of the coach. And right here is where you would gravity fill your fresh water. If you see it coming out, that's when you know it's full, okay? And then right here is if you wanna plug in a TV out here. And this wire, this cable wire runs to the TV so you can watch whatever DVD or channel that you may be wanting to watch. And then uh, we'll go inside real quick. <clears throat> so, first off inside, there is your, uh, how you say this, uh, fire extinguisher. Right here is your convenience center. So, battery says it's full. You got all the red lights. Fresh water, empty, black. Shoot. Oh, we're testing, uh, we're cleaning out the black tank, so I got the cleaner in there right now. Also, we're cleaning out the gray, and then you have gray too, so you have two gray tanks. Exterior lights, ceiling lights, water pump. You can arm it right there. If you're running out of the tank and you need water, this is how you do it. If you're running city water, you don't need it. The pressure from the hose will be enough, okay? This is if you wanna heat up your water heater. You can do both at the same time to quickly heat it up or just do one or the other. It's gas or electric. Here's your slide in and out button. Here's your awning in and out button. And then we'll come right over here. This is your AM, FM, CD, DVD player. You just pop it in and it'll play right here on your TV. And you can Bluetooth your uh, phone to this so you can listen to music and everything. You can pair it. Zone A is inside speakers, zone B is outside. So you can turn them off and on depending on how you wanna to listen to your music. And next we'll come over here. This is how you turn on your fridge, okay? Off and on right there. Right now we're on, it's on auto. Since we're plugged in, it's gonna to go to AC, which is shore power. If you wanna turn it to gas, uh, pop it right there to gas. I would just leave it on auto and it'll automatically find the best way to work. If it turns red or turns any color, that means something's off. Either you're not plugged in or you don't have enough gas, okay? And this is your cold meter. How cold do you want to set it? We have it right now at five, the coldest. Microwave, you got to be plugged in to use it. It runs off shore power. This right here is your cooktop. So if your propane's on, you just turn this on right here and just hit the clicker. Boop, and it turns right on, guys. Just like that, okay? Now, the oven works the same way, okay? You just gotta turn this on, but notice you see that little flame right there? You gotta hold this in, and while you're holding it in, you click this a bunch of times, okay? Until you see the pilot, I'll turn on the light. Until you see the pilot light come on back there. You gotta click it a bunch of times, okay? It takes practice, it's gonna take a little bit, but uh, you'll get good at it. Right here, you got a fan and a light. We got uh, our keys right there. We got a little spray um, button right here to uh, use your spray option in the faucet. And let me see, back here you got a TV backer plate. Right here, <clears throat> with these openings, I recommend you get a max air vent cover so you can leave these open when it's raining or when it's 130 degrees outside. That's how you can have fresh air come in the coach. And I highly recommend a max air vent cover. You got one, two, three of these spots in your coach, but uh, I think you should at least think about doing one. This right here is your smoke alarm. These right here have two functions. You can go blue light, you can do a white light. Right here is your outside, uh, what, emergency exit. So to open this, you just go out, you can use it as a window too. Pop this open and dive right out, okay? <clears throat> this right here is a light. So thermostat you cycle through this with the big button okay it'll go fan low fan high cool high cool low cool low auto cool high auto heat and then off 
to change the temperature settings, just hit up and down on that and it'll automatically try to keep it at that temperature. You got one smoke alarm inside and I'm testing out this one right here in the living area, making sure it all works. Um, see this back here, this cushion back here uh, does come out if you want to move it. It's a movable cushion and to turn this into a bed, you just pull this switch and then this anchors down and uh, it'll rest right here in the middle so you can put these cushions over the top and make one bed, okay? Right here, you got lights, heat, and massage. The only way to tell if these are off is you just gotta push them till it gets to the dimmest level and that's when you know it's off, okay? And what else? Oh, right here is your propane slash carbon monoxide alarm. And last thing, in the bathroom, with these foot pedals, halfway down, gets the water going, all the way down, opens it up. Okay, and with the AC, if you want to dump all the air right here, just open this up, okay? And they'll dump the air here. If you close these, now it's going to run through the ducting of the coach, okay? And... My name is Nate. This is my video on uh, the Imagine 2600 RB and hopefully I'll see you on orientation day. Thanks. Bye.